And here we have our final video in our Factors and Products unit. We've been looking at factoring trinomials for a while now. Um, we're going to get back to the idea of multiplying polynomials. So we've already looked at how to multiply two binomials. What happens when we have a trinomial or a monomial or even possibly a four-term polynomial? We need a few rules in order to do that. So here we have 3.7 multiplying polynomials. So we saw that when we multiply binomials together, we can use FOIL. But of course, FOIL won't work for three or more terms. So we use something that mathematically is called the distributive property. So we're going to take one polynomial and distribute it to all the terms in the second. Your final answer should have one less term than the combined number of terms in each polynomial of your question. So if I've got a trinomial times a trinomial, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six terms. So my answer should have one less, so it should end up being a five-term polynomial. Just a little check for you here. So what do we do? Step one. We take our first polynomial and write it in a vertical column. Of course, vertical means going up and down. Then you're going to multiply the entire second polynomial by each term of the first. And that's kind of why I wrote it in a vertical column. And then in the end, we have to combine our terms. So let's take a look at this. Expand and simplify 3c plus 5 times 6c squared plus 4c plus 2. So take the first, in this case a binomial, but it doesn't really matter. Take the first polynomial and write the terms in a vertical column. 3c and 5. Now I'm going to take the second polynomial and multiply it by the first term, 6c squared plus 4c plus 2. And I'm going to multiply it by the second term, the constant, 6c squared plus 4c plus 2. So here we go. Now it's distributive because we're going to take the term and go to every single part, distributed to all parts of the trinomial. So I'm going to go there first. 3c times 6c squared. 3 times 6 is 18. c times c squared gives me c to the third. Second one. 3c times 4c. 3 times 4 is positive 12. c times c squared. Oh, sorry, c times c is c squared. And then finally, the last ones. 3c times 2 gives me positive 6c. First one's done. Now let's go to the second one. 5 times 5c squared. That's going to give me 30c squared. Now normally I'd want to write it right here, but I know I'm going to be combining my like terms. And I know that c cubed and c squared, 30c squared, I know c cubed and c squared will not be like terms. So to make my life easier, I'm going to write this underneath my c squareds, which is right here. Positive 30c squared. Next one, 5 times 4c. That's going to be 20c. And I'll write it under my c's. Plus 20c. And then I've got 5 times 2. Now 5 times 2 is uh, 10. So I can simply write down the 10. There's no other constant, so I'm going to put plus 10 right there. Okay, so I don't have anything more to multiply. All I have to do is combine my like terms. I've got 18c to the third 
didn't combine with anything. I've got 12 and 30 gives me 42. C squared. I've got 6 and 20, which gives me positive 26C. And then I've got 10. Nothing else can be combined. I've multiplied it through. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. I've got a 4-term polynomial here. Let's do my little check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My original questions had 5, so I should have one less to be 4. I'm on the right track. Okay, let's flip the page and look at another question. Expand 2f squared minus 8f plus 3 times 9f squared plus 12f minus 21. Okay, a much, much more difficult question, but the same process applies. Take the first polynomial and write each term out. 2f squared minus 8f and 3. Times that by the entire second polynomial. So I've got 9f squared plus 12f minus 21. 9f squared plus 12f minus 21, and 9f squared plus 12f minus 21. So let's start multiplying. 2f squared times 9f squared, that's 18f to the fourth. 2f squared times 12f, gives me positive 24 f to the third, and 2f squared times negative 21 will give me negative 42 f squared. Okay, my next one, negative 8f times 9f squared, that's going to give me negative 72 f to the third. So I'm not going to write it here, I'll throw it here. Negative 72 f to the third. Negative 8f times 12f. That's negative 96 f squared. And then negative 8f times negative 21 gives me positive 168 f. And then let's go to our third set. 3 times 9f squared is positive 27f squared. So where are my f squared? It's all the way over here. Positive 27f squared. 3 times 12f, that'll be positive 36f. And then, you know, I'm going to rewrite that so it looks a little cleaner. 36f. And then I got 3 times negative 21 is minus 63. Okay, last step is to combine. No other f to the fourths, so I get 18f to the fourth. Positive 24 after the third, minus 72 after the third, gives me negative 52 f to the third. Now here's my most difficult one. Negative 42 f squared minus 96 f squared plus 27 f squared. Combine all three of those numbers, I get negative 111 f squared. 168 f plus 36 f gives me positive 204 f. And then finally, my negative 63 doesn't combine with anything else, so minus 63. So, when combined, I get 18 f to the fourth, minus 52 f to the third, 
minus 111 f squared plus 204 f minus 63. Again, I've got a four, t one, two, three, four, five term polynomial is my answer. I started off with one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, I'm on the right track. Let's go to the textbook. We can go to page 186, and we can do two from the A's, five from the B's, and one from the C's.